Hi guys. So I'm here with another big box of love mail to open and I am in shock right now because okay this love mail comes from Rebecca and Rebecca has oh my gosh I don't know how long she's been subscribed to my channel but it's been a long time and she often comments on my videos and I we follow each other on Instagram and she is a real sweetheart and we occasionally will chat um, on Facebook and anyway she recently sent me a message saying she was going to be sending a little something to my P.O. box and when she said little I took that literally <laughs> and was expecting something small in my P.O. box and um, she was watching the tracking on the package and told me that it had been delivered to my P.O. box yesterday, um, Wednesday. <laughs> so I told Alex, can you go and check the P.O. box on your way home from work? And he did and then he texted me at work and he goes, I picked up your package from the P.O. box and he sent me a picture of this ginormous box. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. I'm like, who is it from? And he said, Rebecca. And I was like, I thought she was sending me something small. <laughs> And I was like, what is going on? So I was completely shocked. And it's it's been killing me to know <laughs> what's in this box. It's just that by the time I got home, it was almost 7. And then we had to eat dinner. And then I was zonked from the day at work because Annie was sick and was cranky. And she had a fever. And I had to give her Tylenol. And... It was just a long day at work and I was just so tired. I just wanted to veg out, watch a couple of my shows and head to bed. But it's been killing me to open this package. And you know, I also had the other packages to open as well. So anyways, let's get started because this is a big box um, and has the potential to be another long video. Um, and yeah, um, the custom declaration form, of course, you know, like when you send big packages like this to another country, you have to write down what is in the box. So um, I kind of cheated <laughs> and I read it. And so I kind of have a, like, it didn't fully detail exactly what is in this box, um, but I think think I have an inkling of what it could possibly be and I'm going to throw the hint out there because I know that Rebecca recently got a job working at an American Girl store <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say and I'm like I don't know I'm 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 in shock I'm literally in shock so anyways it's like Christmas has arrived early in my apartment this week <laughs> and I'm I'm getting very emotional because I just I I yeah <laughs> I usually don't get emotional over happy mail I mean inside I do but I don't let it show on camera but you guys <laughs> out there I mean all the happy mail that you guys have been sending me lately um Rebecca and Nicole and Angela um who else has sent me stuff recently Stephanie um Inez uh it's hard to keep track <laughs> of everyone. Um, 
Oh my goodness, and I apologize if I'm forgetting anyone, because I know I, I've, I've received quite a bit of love mail over the last month or so, and um, I just have to say that I always find that love mail comes at the times that you need it the most, and... Yeah, I've just, I've had a lot on my plate um, the last couple of months between health-related things um, and losing a friendship and being hurt by someone who I thought was a friend and um, just other things going on with other friends from my high school days. Um, I won't really get into that, but like friends from my high school days, things with my family on my dad's side. Um, that's always an ongoing thing that bothers me. Just all these things have been weighing on me and suddenly you guys are showering me with all of these wonderful love mails and um like I just I can't thank you guys enough it means th so much to me um and really and truly I just I can't even wrap my head around how come you guys feel the urge to do this for me because I just I see myself as just an average person just making my videos and I never expect these things and you guys I don't know I anyways I let's pull it together I I, I am just I'm in shock I just I don't know but anyways Let's get started because this is probably going to be a long video. Uh, okay, this card, I hope you guys can see it. It's a cat. <laughs> He's so cute. It says, thanks so much. Oh, wow. Okay, I... Um... Okay. I just want to make sure that I, I hope I can read this on camera. Let me just make sure. I, th I think it's okay. I might, um, maybe I'll ask her, I'll PM her and ask her. And then if, um, it's not okay, I can just edit it out. But it says, dear Crystal, no words could adequately express the impact you have had on my life through your YouTube channel. I hope you will accept these gifts as a token of my gratitude. I struggle a lot with mental and physical ailments and your doll videos make me smile while your life and lupus updates carry me through the dark night by reminding me I am not alone. I hope that these goodies will bring you the same joy you bring to all your subscribers. I am hoping you're feeling well. I know it has been rough for you lately, and I'm praying for you. Thank you so much. Uh, take care and God bless. Tell Riley hello for me. My cat Lucy says to tell him meow for her too. And oh my gosh, guys, her cat is so cute. I've seen him on, or seen her, sorry, Lucy. I've seen Lucy on Instagram, and she has the most adorable cat eyes. I just love that cat. Um... For giving all you give, for doing all you do, for caring how you care, thanks for being you. Your friend Rebecca Bell, P.S. Feel free to do whatever you want with these goodies. I will not be offended if you want to give any of them away, etc. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't even know where to begin. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this handmade? 
sorry guys camera stopped for a second because my camera only films up to about nine to ten minutes at a time so I always have to be on top of that this is a gorgeous blanket it's handmade oh it smells so nice I'm pretty sure this is handmade it is so soft Oh my gosh. I'm trying to figure out if it's a baby blanket or if it's an adult size blanket. It looks big. Oh gosh. Rebecca, did you make this? This is gorgeous. Wow. I think it's supposed to be a baby blanket because it doesn't look quite big enough for adult, but you know what? I may use it for myself because it gets cold here in the winter and I could throw this around my shoulders when I'm watching TV. It looks super warm and cozy. Oh my gosh, that is just incredible. It's gorgeous. It's, everything smells so nice. Wow, I, okay, I, I just have to pick one and go for it because there's so many boxes. Oh my gosh, okay. So we've got oh, a little uh, octopus <laughs> with a little pack of washcloths. They are so soft. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, and then we have a little pack of socks that has world's cutest rookie footballs and then some stripey ones, red stripes, uh, navy blue stripes. I see a dapper outfit here. <laughs> oh, Cat and Jack, zero to three months, khakis. Nice dressy khakis. I like them because they're very thin. Because I have another pair of khakis that are nice kind of dressy khakis for him, for Landon, but they're thicker and they're hard to get on his pants. I think they're by next and they're kind of snug to get on him. So these ones might actually work better and maybe I'll get rid of the other ones. Because, oh my gosh. And then this is Cat and Jack as well. Look, very Christmassy, a Christmas shirt it's a onesie that's like plaid with red green and white and then the uh, vest is red you know me well because you know for Christmas I'm all about the reds and greens on the babies oh my gosh oh and these um, packing foam peanuts are gonna be everywhere because it's getting to be that time of year that it's staticky <laughs> Everything's staticky, but actually these are great. I like taking these to work and using them in sensory bins or crafts with the kids. Oh my gosh. I am, Whew. okay. Okay, let's see here. So we have Atlanta Braves, uh, zero to three. Oh, and it's for girls because it has little ruffles on the sleeves. It's a onesie. And the base the baseball's like a heart. And then there's another one. Being this cute is a full-time job. And it's another girl one. And these are all zero to three months. That one's red. This one's paint white with pink polka dots and says Atlanta Braves. And it's girly too, zero to three months. I'm going to assume you are an Atlanta Braves fan. <laughs> I don't, I don't watch baseball. Um, the only time we watched baseball was when it was a couple of years ago when the Blue Jays were really close to making it into the whatever it's called. See, I don't even know the terms for them, but it's like they were getting close to, I guess the World Series, getting into the World Series, but then they didn't make it, so then we stopped watching. Um, this is 18 months for Grace. 
Atlanta Braves. Cute. It's probably good that I have these though because sometimes there's like sports themed days or or whatever and I never have anything for those. Then we have a three pack of Gerber onesies, a blue one with little birdies, and one that has turquoise, white, pink, and gray stripes. And another one with little birdies. And these are all zero to three months for Maisie. And also sometimes Maya and Yuki can wear zero to three as well. Oh, and little matching hats. Oh, these beanies are so small. Now, these would be good sizes. These would probably fit Miss Zoe or even uh, Savannah. There's a little pink one with flowers and a big bow on the front. And then this is turquoise polka dots. Um, and then there's some little pants to go with it. Oh, pink leggings, Gerber. That's a nice color. It's like a coral pink. And then the blue, kind of like an aqua color with little ruffles on the butt. Super adorable. Okay. Oh, my legs. I think I'm going to stand up. I'll stand up. <laughs> okay, there's something for Riley. Riley is curled up sleeping on the couch right now. I'll show him in a minute because he's so cute. Okay, so we've got <laughs> temptation treats. Hopefully he'll eat them. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys. Okay, so Riley, he has always loved, these have always been his favorite brand of treats. Always. And then Nicole bought us that little toy that you put treats in and the treats that came with that were I forget what brand a different brand and he really liked those and ever since then he's turned his nose at temptations I don't I don't know why um and we've tried so many other brands of treats and he won't so I did go and buy another pack of the ones that came with the toy and he will eat those if we put them in the toy um but it's so bizarre because like every cat I know goes crazy over temptation treats and he used to and now he doesn't really. Um, so I will most likely give these to my sister-in-law's cat because she absolutely goes crazy for temptation treats. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Riley's been very bizarre with treats lately. Very picky. We even bought a pack of treats from the vet that were like super expensive because while we were waiting in the waiting room, we tried giving him some because they had samples there to try. And he devoured them and I was like, oh yay, I finally found another brand of treat that he likes. So I bought them and they were like freaking $7 for this little bag because they're, you know, medical whatever, veterinary, and he won't eat them at home. I'm like, man. <laughs> Cats, I tell you, cats, they have their own agenda, okay? They have their own agenda. Okay, so this is really cute. Now, Riley will probably love these. <laughs> They're little catnip ghost toys <laughs> for Halloween. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm going to save these for actual Halloween day and see if I can get him, like, a little costume or something. I don't know. That would be so cute. And then we've got... Play and squeak. Oh, it's an electronic mouse. Is it? Has catnip. Yeah, it's like. Oh, it's electra. Ele yeah, electronic sound. It squeaks. Oh, cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm sitting on the couch again <laughs> because my legs, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna move this over here. Okay, so we have something here. Pretty, pretty paper. American Girl! <laughs> oh, cool! It's from, yeah, so she works at the Atlanta store. So this is from, the, it says American Girl Atlanta. 
I have one from the Mall of America, and I have obviously the ones from the Toronto um, boutiques, but oh, that's so cool. I'd love to one day go to the New York one, because I've heard that one is pretty spectacular. Okay, so this is for Toddler Grace. <laughs> A dolly for Gracie, I think. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. <laughs> oh my gosh, Grace is going to flip out. You know what? I I honestly think I'm going to stash this and do it as her Christmas present for Christmas morning. But look at this. It is a mini Nenea doll. Mini Neneo, and it even comes with her book. I won't open it. It's like taped off. But how cute is that? It's Neneo. Neneo is the new American Girl Be Forever doll. She is a Hawaiian doll. Grace is going to love it. That is a cute idea, actually. I never even thought about the mini dolls for Grace. I never did. Um, cause I had a, a miniature Julie. That was the first doll I bought from American Girl was Mini Julie. And then the same day I went back and bought like Big Julie. And, um, yeah, so I, and I, but I ended up selling Mini Julie. No, I didn't do, no, I did a giveaway on my channel of my Mini Julie. Um, but I never thought about that or of using it with Grace. Sorry for all the stiffles. <laughs> it's that time of the year where my nose starts running really easily when it's like cold out and then crying doesn't help. And look guys, it's another mini. It's a Be Forever Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see this. There's a note on this box right here that says open first. Ah, sorry. Okay, well, hopefully I didn't ruin anything by not opening that first. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get down on the floor for this one. <laughs> I hope you can see everything. Oh boy. Oh my. The shape, just the shape. I, I, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna, but I wanna open this where you guys can see. Uh, it was hard to figure out where to set up to open such a large box. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Guys, Ooh. I'm afraid to look. <laughs> Not afraid, but I just I want to like. I don't want you guys to see until I get all the paper on. That's what it is. And then we can turn it over and see. Oh my gosh! Ready? Let's see who it is. Because obviously it's an American girl. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> Look what she did. She put, she put a paper over the window. It says, who will it be? <laughs> oh my gosh. The suspense. Oh my gosh. It says, travel ticket direct from Atlanta to Canada. She covered it. She covered it. Should I remove the stickers or should I just open the box? Okay, let's just open the box and see. She's a stick. You're a stinker. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> this is like. Oh my gosh. I can't. Why isn't it opening? Is it taped? Oh, it's taped. Okay, I need scissors. Oh, the suspense. <laughs> oh. You are sneaky. To cover up that window. Oh my god. 
I am freaking out. Well, okay, we know it's a Be Forever girl because the box says Be Forever. So we know it's a Be Forever girl. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no. No way. <laughs> oh my gosh. She got me Josefina? No way. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys. Okay, see, here in Canada, we have those little boutiques in our bookshops. And for whatever reason, they don't carry all of the Be Forever girls here. You can't get all of them here. And Josefina is one of them that I've always loved. She's a Latino um, character, and I think she's gorgeous. And she already comes with her ears pierced and everything. Oh, my God. You... Uh, I I had planned to buy her. I I when we go to our meetup next year, we were gonna go to the Mall of America, and I was gonna go to the Mall of America American Girl store and buy Josefina. That was my plan. I was gonna buy her while I was there, ditch her box, bring her home with me in a doll bag, um, and I was gonna um, take her to the cafe for lunch. But, oh my gosh, <laughs> you, you bet me to it. Oh my gosh. I can't, oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> There's her book. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, my nose is like going nuts now. Sorry guys. Look at her. Can you guys see? Ugh. I'll have to. I have to take her out of the box. Look, she has little hoop earrings. She comes with hoop earrings, and I. My understanding is I don't think you can. They're not like other American girls where when you get their ears pierced, you can change out their earrings. I. If I'm wrong on that, let me know, Rebecca. But she's got a long braid with flower in it. Her dress is red, blue, and orange. And she has this nice, oh my god. And then her, little, she's got like these boots. Oh, she's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just trying to kind of see her face here. Oh my gosh, I'll have to do a video with her out of the box. I'll do like a unboxing video separately because I just I, I have more to open and I don't want this video to be like an hour long <laughs> but oh my gosh Rebecca oh my gosh I cannot I can't believe I have Josefina oh my gosh. and my battery is starting to flash again I have to stand up my feet are falling asleep <laughs> Oh, my battery is starting to flash, so I hope I can make it through without it dying. I have another battery charging, so. Okay, so let's just. Okay, so like I said, hopefully I didn't ruin anything by not opening that first because everything else I've opened, except for that little American Girl t shirt, um, was all like reborn stuff and stuff for Riley, so I think I'm safe. Okay, so now. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm in shock. Okay. So this is Josefina's accessories. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Sh oh, it comes with a little pamphlet. So she has, um like a shawl I think it is a shawl thing a little bag um like 
a little necklace and <laughs> this is going to be hard to open all these. My hands are shaky too from the stupid steroids. Um, Josefina, Jola, I don't know what's in there. I think it's a coin. And then she's got a little uh, handkerchief. Um, oh my gosh, I just... Rebecca, I just can't thank you enough. I I just am... I don't know. I'm, I'm rendered speechless at this point. Um, my hands are shaking. <laughs> okay, so... I wonder if it actually lists the, sometimes they list the items. Oh, oh yeah, it says it contains, here we go, contains one, uh, one re, rebozo, one pendant, one pouch, and one hanky, and one pre reproduction of a Jola coin. Okay, maybe I'll do like another thing, like kind of showing you all the items in detail. In details okay excuse me guys I gotta blow my nose <laughs> okay much better <laughs> now hopefully you guys don't have to listen to me sniffling every two seconds because that's kind of nasty <laughs> um oh <gasps> mm, mango papaya bath bomb love it love it love it love it I've got quite the collection of bath bombs now. I'm going to have to take some nice baths. Okay, let's see what we got here. We've got... Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do with some of these. Cat stickers. Sticker book, it says. Lots of cats and dogs in there. Cute. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can, guys, because I know I know some people don't care for long videos. <laughs> I'm just trying to do this. Okay. Got college team logo pens, Georgia. We got, oh, look at these kitty stickers. Cats wearing hats and mittens and scarves and oh, tutus and cowboy hats and dressed as a baseball player and a king and a queen. Those are adorable. And then, oh, puffy monkey stickers. Puffy monkey stickers. Yay. And then, oh, this is nice. This is a mixed media embellishment. Really pretty. You can like frame a photo with that in a scrapbook. And then we got a um, postcard <laughs> from Atlanta. And we've got a key ring. And these pencils here. I think I'm going to divide between Margaret and my sponsor child. They are little cat and dog pencils. They're so cute. I don't know how well they're going to come up on camera. But they have little cats and dogs on them and they're purple. They're really cute. I don't tend to use pencils very often. So um, definitely something... Um, that my sponsor child and yours, Elise, um, I mean, my sponsor child, yours, Elise, and Margaret can use. Okay. More boxes to open. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Santa has come early. Okay. American Girl Be Forever. Mary Ellen's Play Outfit. Ooh, Mary Ellen's play outfit. Okay. Yes, I, I, 
I love all of Mary Ellen's collection. Even though I don't have Mary Ellen yet, I will most likely be getting Mary Ellen. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Mary Ellen when I go to the uh, meetup. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, so this is the one that has the little crop, like tank top with the apple. And then it has um, this nice uh, checkered hair tie, I think it is, for her hair. And then these little jeans. Capris, I think they are. And then there's these white flowers with little cherries on them. Yeah, sorry, it's cherries, not apples. Cherries. Um, really cute outfit. Super adorable. And I definitely, I, I really do think I want Mary Ellen. Um, I know I actually had considered my redhead Anne, number 61. I was originally going to dress her. In Mary Ellen's collection instead of getting Mary Ellen but I still really like Mary Ellen um, so I really think I will probably end up getting her okay this is Josefina's nightgown Josefina's nightgown and I'm just you know like I don't want to pull out everything Oh, look, it comes with these little slippers. They're like a cream color, and then they have flowers embroidered on them. And this is her nightgown. It's just a, cot a white cotton gown with some lace on the top, a nice, like, goldy orange bow, and the hem is, like, tiered with orange stitching. Really nice, simple. Oh, so so pretty I love I always like getting the accessories and pajamas for every um, girl that I get this says Melody's birthday outfit hmm Melody why don't I who's Melody which one is Melody it says it's a bee forever. Oh, is Melody the African-American girl from like the um, 50s or something like that? Here's a picture. This one actually has the picture of the outfit. So it's a purple long sleeve top with a purple plaid skirt, two purple hair bows, um, white tights, and some white shoes with black bows. So there you guys can get as you can kind of see what it looks like without me having to open it. That is such a pretty outfit and it's purple. Hello. <laughs> That's probably why she got it for me. Okay. Another B forever. This one is Josefina's feast outfit. Oh, let's see. Josefina's Feast Outfit. It has this ribbon. I think maybe it's like um, a belt, perhaps. And it has this skirt that's white and it's like turquoise and black with a green stripe. Oh, and it has like this black kind of ribbon embroidered on the bottom. And then it just has like a white cotton shirt. Wow, that looks really huge. I guess it's supposed to be like flowy. I don't know why those items look big for American Girl for me, to me. It's kind of funny. And then these like satiny kind of turquoise shoes and then yeah I'm not sure if this is like a sash or you know what it probably says somewhere on this box I'm sure that it says it somewhere what's in it it usually does how come it doesn't say on this one Hmm. It doesn't list the contents, but I probably if I go online, it'll probably explain. If I go on the American Girl website, I can figure out what that piece is. 
Okay, there's another box here. Be Forever. This is Josefina's Hairlooms. Hmm. Her Hairlooms. So it's like a shawl. Look at that like an orangey yellow color and it has flowers embroidered in it wow that is really pretty and then it has a fan a little fan and a bracelet so cute Wow, that is gorgeous. Now I'm trying to figure out how to fold it back up. Okay. Whew. Okay, I think we're almost done, guys. Almost done. Um, <laughs> I'll put the box over here, I guess. There's another big, this is a big box. What could this be? Okay guys, so I didn't realize that my camera had stopped filming, so I already opened this package, uh, or this part of the gift, which was Josefina's summer outfit. So it contains one dress, one vest, and one straw hat. And so this is the dress. It's orange with yellow flowers. And then it has this brown, like kind of uh, leather type vest on it. And then it comes with this straw hat. So that's that piece. I tell you, when I when I found out Rebecca um, got a job at American girl I told her I said you must have a blast working there and I'm sure she gets a discount as an employee so oh my gosh I think it would be dangerous if I worked at American girl let me tell you <laughs> oh my gosh thank you thank you she knows me well a doll stand <laughs> The infamous doll stand that I almost always forget to pick up when I buy a new girl. Oh, and also I had opened another bath bomb when I didn't realize my camera wasn't filming. This one's called Love. So another bath bomb. That's probably what made the box smell so good was the bath bombs. So there you have it. There's that big old empty box there. Riley's going to have a blast playing in that. Which, by the way, what <laughs> before I got to opening this box, I took these two pictures of Riley sitting on top of the box. So I'll insert those here for you to see. But yes, he loves his boxes. And this was probably the biggest box <laughs> we've had come through. And he just had to get up and sit on it. It was so cute. But um, I'm going to kind of go over here for a second yes here's all my box American Girl boxes on the coffee table look at Riley over there he's all curled up on my muslin blanket and then we usually leave um, these bed sheets on our couch just to protect the couches so it keeps the some of the cat hair off the couches and some and you know it keeps things from being stained the blanket on the side that i'm on the love seat i'm sitting on right now though is a mess for me sitting all over i'll have to fix that up but he's over there here's a better close-up of riley hi <laughs> i'll let you go back to sleeping Okay guys, well, I just, <sighs> that's it. That's the, that's the box opening. It's done. 
and I just am blown away and in shock and I just I'm ha I'm so happy oh my gosh Josefina I I have wanted her for a long time and like I said we couldn't get her here in Canada and I don't even think I could order her from the website they wouldn't ship her to Canada for, for some weird reason. Um, so like I said, I had planned to buy her at the Mall of America, but um, you bet me to it, Rebecca. And I just, <sighs> thank you so much, Rebecca. You did not have to do all of this. I mean, just that blanket right there is gorgeous. If you had have just sent one thing, I would have been happy. Um, I mean, just Josefina in herself is amazing. So I just, I thank you so very much. Um, this love mail was awesome. It was like Christmas in here. So it really means a lot to me that you thought of me. And I just thank you so much, Rebecca. And I love reading your comments and I love our little chats here and there and I love <laughs> seeing your posts on Instagram especially your cat Lucy she is so freaking cute and I just I thank you so very very much and thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed watching this love mail um, be sure to click the thumbs up if you did and um, I think I'll do a separate video where I'll really show like I'll take all the um, outfits and accessories out of the boxes so that you can see them properly I'll do like a separate video of that I just didn't want this video to go on for too long so um and we'll see how Riley likes his toys maybe I can get video of him playing with those and yeah thank you so very much again Rebecca and everyone everyone out there thank you for watching my videos, for subscribing, for commenting, for sending your beautiful love mail. You guys really don't have to send me anything more. You know, like I love just getting cards and letters. You guys just don't have to send me packages like this. But I, I, like I said, this could not have come at a better time for me. And I just, God bless you, Rebecca. Thank you so much. And everyone else that sent me love mail this week, Karma, Angela, Nicole, I, you know, I think Kim said she sent, she has another love mail coming for me. So I just thank you all of you so, so much. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. I love you all.